Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rod Hughes's workshop. I am here. Thank you for the invitation. You're welcome. This is exciting. Can you tell us really briefly about this workshop? This is not like my workshop. <laughs> this is not. Um, this workshop really is built for making historic weapons. In general terms, I will make things that are Saxon or Viking or medieval. And sometimes we need to use the same techniques as they use. So uh, this is my version of a Viking forge. Basically there's a hearth here, we run charcoal in there and we basically get a blade, decent sized blade, very very hot, hot enough to forge. I've got a heating furnace there, again charcoal, so that's what heat is in my blades. Mm -hmm. And in the corner, which is what we're going to use, is my furnace for casting bronze. Outstanding. So the plan today is, you give me a little bit of a rundown on preparing a mould. We burn out a mould uh -huh. and we make, what are we making? A skull. We're making a skull. <laughs> We're making a bronze skull for the hilt of one of your pirate cutlasses. That's exciting, so. That's cool. Well, I'm very excited to be here. Let's, uh, I guess, you show me some of the some of the, the beginning steps to getting to pouring the hot metal. What I do is I make a, a model out of clay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll, I'll actually sculpt something, um, and then I'll take a, a mold off of that. So. And are you taking a silicon? Ah. There we go. In the day, what they would have done is they would have taken the wax, they would have coated it with slit, and um, they would have then gradually built it up and, and built it up and built it up and let that dry over uh, like a week or something like that. Um, once, once you get that hot, you can pour the wax out, burn it out, and that gives you a void. And that's kind of what we're doing later. That's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. More workshop. It just keeps on going, Rod. Yeah, just as untidy as the rest of the other workshop. So this oh is, my goodness, yeah. that is scary. <laughs> so that is what you made the the, the, yeah. the wax for the skull in. Yeah. The eye sockets. Yeah. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. And what is so? What is this? This made out of on this that? Is fiberglass. So that's fiberglass that yeah. holds the the silicon mold yeah. in place. I mean, we can cast a wax laser if you like. That could be fun. Yeah. That could yeah, be very fun. That. All right, let's put the thing together then. So, so if you s assemble it. I've seen you do this once, <laughs> and you dropped a number of pieces. <laughs> so I don't know. If you, yeah, get the eye socket. That's an eye socket. Okay, so what we will do is just warm that up. Like Bake Off for Swords. It's like Bake Off for Swords. There we go, Rod Hughes. So what is this? What do you call that actual machine? Um, it's for uh, doing bikini waxing. H how did you feel when you went and bought the, the bikini wax heating machine? I had to try not to get the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> that w you can adjust the temperature okay. from about um, 50 degrees up to about 150, 250, something like that. And the casting wax, how hot is that? When you're putting it in uh, to start with to get all of the detail, you want it as hot as possible. So probably about 100 degrees. So this is out of the oven now? That's out of the oven. It's nice and warm. How hot, feel... how hot is it's it? It's not that hot, yeah. It was like 75, 50, 75 degrees? It's about 50 to 70 degrees, something okay. like that. It's just so that when you put the hot wax in, it doesn't immediately chill. You want it to be able to flow into all, Ab the, into all the details. Absolutely. The first coat is the probably the most important one. So what we're going to do is literally just pull that out. We're literally going to pour wow. an amount of wax in there. That's nice hot wax, so we're going to make sure that's all in there. And you see it's kind of sticking there and that's fine, so that's nicely waxed. Pour it back in. Pour it in, pour it out, yeah. pour it in, pour it pour out. It in. You can see there's a nice thin coat of wax on the inside there. Once that's cooled, we're then gonna put the wax in a little bit cooler and then just run it around. And Pouring out the goo from the skull. <laughs> so we just pop that outside now, let that cool down in there. So you've made your wax piece, you've now got to get it out intact. Ha, ah, that sounds like a, an undertaking and yeah. a half. Well, what we do basically is take these little sections off and just pull them away from the Very mold. gently. Very gently, so that all that's left is your wax piece in the silicon mold. Gotcha. Ha! There you go. Pull her away. Good lord. Oh, and the nostril tease are out. Wow. Goodness gracious me. There you go. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> that is a wax skull. Then what do you do from here? So what we do is this is going to be the guard. So this is going to be the top of the guard here. So we just take this wax, um, we put the pouring sprue, um, the 
pouring cup, the sprue, all the vents and everything to get the bronze into the wax and then we coat it with silicate material. So we're not actually going to coat this, we're going to go straight skip a step over to burning out the wax. Burning out the wax. Here we go. So now it's onto the burnout. Yep, this is the burnout. So what we've got here is our wax skull with all the pouring cups and everything so you can see it's designed to get all the bronze into the parts that we want um, but it's full of wax so what we do is heat up the wax to get it out so uh, that's what we're gonna do so it just melts straight away dribbling it out and it's really focusing on getting the outside perimeter of the wax out of there making sure that as it is melting later on when you put it in the charcoal it's just flowing right out instead of cracking right So this has still got quite a lot of wax in it and we need to get that wax out but that should be at the stage now where it won't crack so what we can now do is put that in the furnace and just get it a bit hot and what we'll do is we'll just burn it out so there's not a trace of wax in there so there's a trace of wax in there we pour our bronze molten bronze in it'll hit the wax it will explode so what we're going to do this is our charcoal furnace sit our boy in there and we just put a little bit of charcoal around there and you want to start pumping start pumping now how long does this take to get all that wax melted out uh should be about 20 minutes half an hour oh wow like that. that's not bad at all oh no no what I, i'd normally leave it overnight but basically you just keep it hot until such times as you, you're getting no more flame out of it Pull the mold out of the furnace itself. Yep. Now on to heating up the bronze. Time to make some bronze. Is this a normal graphite crucible like like I would have? Uh, yeah, you can buy that off the shelf. Okay. In the day, that's what they would have used. This is a replica of an Iron Age uh, crucible. Iron Age, in that it was used in the Iron Age, during the Iron Age, but it would have cast bronze or silver. And you can uh, see- What is it made out of? It's made out of clay. Bog standard. Well, I mean, is there anything particular to, to, to be able to withstand the heat? Yeah, you, 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 some clays will react with bronze, you can't use those. And this is what you call grogged clay. So grogged clay has an amount of shell and sand and, and everything else. Some people make their own clays, clays up. Some people will mix in uh, horse manure, clay, uh, earth, straw, just to get the whole thing to bind together. Hmm. This is quite substantial, you can feel. Oh yeah, there's a bit of, a bit of mass to it. They last about three three castings. <laughs> so when we're doing something semi-modern like this then we use a, a graphite crucible and we're using bronze here. This is a, a lunate spear that as you can see didn't cast particularly well and uh, there's nothing wasted here. Here's another lunate spear that didn't cast very well. <laughs> 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 Sounds like there's a pattern of the there's success with here. lunette spears. <laughs> lunette spears are tricky, as um, lots of my friends will be able to tell you. So basically we're going to uh, fill this crucible with bronze. We probably need about 400 grams for half a kilo. Um, we probably want to be casting about 600 grams, so we've got an amount over the top. So, straight in. So you're making sure that you're right on the bed of the hot coals? Absolutely. And then are we going to fill up all the rest of the space with the with the charcoal? Yeah, and um, all we do is then just top it up with new charcoal. More, more lumpwood yeah. charcoal. And that's exactly the charcoal that you'll be using in your barbecue. Great. I guess I'm on slave duty. Huffing away. How long does it take to heat this up? Um, there's big lumps of material in there. I reckon it's going to be about three quarters an hour. You'll be right. 45 minutes of this to go.
we've got a stick in here, we put it right down into the crucible, push down, that's it. And that's molten bronze? That's molten bronze, and if you push down you can touch the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome! That is so cool! Mm -hmm. So what, it's about 20 minutes of, uh, of pumping and it's yep. all that charcoal's but worn down, we put yep. some more in. And so you just put the mold on top of it to warm it up as well? Yep. It still doesn't look right. <laughs> The skull in the fire. So the skull is up to temperature. You've got it really glowing as well. Yeah, yeah, that should be that should be um, pretty reasonable. Fantastic. Uh, it'll it'll be glowing red as we uh, bring it out. Oh, right in the eye socket. Oh no, right in both eye sockets. <laughs> So we've just checked the crucible, that's all fine, see that's uh, molten bronze in there. Holy moly, just throwing it out of there, oh my goodness that is just gorgeous. That's just molten bronze, get up and pour this thing. You've got a stick in the front. I've got a stick in the front, I just pour a little bit off and pour it straight in the mouth of that hole that we made earlier. Wow. That is incredible. There we go. Woo! Doesn't take long, it'll freeze in about five seconds. And then we'll cool it down. Oh my goodness. Whoa! -ho! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no! No! God, oh, that doesn't feel right! Oh my goodness! Oh wow, little nose picker, little eyeball picker, little fingernail biter. Golly, you gotta go for the eyes, really? Yeah, get it right in there. Oh, is this a scale size? No, that's a female skull. Oh, I thought it was smaller. No, no. No, this is, is an this actual it? female skull to scale. Yes. That just made it even much more worse. With the skull poured, we kind of decided we just got to pour some more. some more casting. It's been a lot of fun and I am truly grateful 
Thank you, Rod, You're very for the fantastic day, yeah. for letting us come in here, letting you guys come in here. Thank you, Rod. Thank you, thank you. So that we could see how you make this really, really cool bronze skull. It's been a pleasure. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Great pleasure. I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing you soon. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow on the next episode.